No, the government uh, response is steady, methodical, uh, and um, I want to pay tribute to the HSE for the manner in which it has responded so far uh, to this attack. It's a heinous attack, it's a shocking attack on um, a health service, but on fundamentally on the patients and, and, and the Irish public. Uh, and we're taking uh, advice from uh, the experts in cyber security, from a national cyber security centre, um, and we're also getting very considerable support uh, from experts in the private sector who are who have rallied to, to, to the Irish cause in this respect. Uh, and we will deal with this and we will um, work methodically uh, in response and to rebuild up um, patient uh, services. How concerned and, are you um, by the implications though for the health Well, the implications are serious, uh, we, we know that. Uh, and they've resulted in significant disruption um, to our health service. Uh, but we cannot, you know, the, the, the criminals involved here um, attack health services and systems and indeed other uh, systems within the private sector across the world uh, and we have to have a robust and strong uh, response to that but fundamentally uh, we're now focused on restoring our health services as quickly as we possibly can uh, and that's the work that's underway at the moment. Will people keep private sensitive medical data entered? There is every possibility given um, what has transpired. We're assessing and, and the system is assessing the, the full impact of this threat and, and uh, its implications uh, but in situations like this, uh, information can be secured and can end up uh, in the public um, uh, domain. And that is obviously um, a concern, uh, but again we'll be working with, with, with all interests uh, to make sure that the criminals uh, you know, don't uh, exploit uh, that situation. Does this put a question mark over the safety of state agencies' information that's held? I mean, will there be and more conversations happening about perhaps further investment in this area? Well, since I became teacher 10 months ago, uh, you know, we've uh, continued the reviewed cyber security and are continually um, improving the strength of our cyber security um, response. And indeed, over time, that has been the case. Uh, and we'll continue to review that, uh, not just in the context of the health service, but right across all state agencies. Um, it, it is uh, a very significant threat uh, to both state and to the private sector, these type of attacks. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, significant resources have been allocated and significant resources will be allocated uh, to all levels of our response uh, to the cyber security threat. Tisha, could I just ask, what would you say to people who are concerned that their um, appointment has been delayed, a very important appointment for something in a hospital today? Well, it's, it's, first of all, we have to say it, it's shocking that uh, people's lives have been disrupted to this degree uh, by these criminals. That's the first point. And secondly, we're going to do everything we possibly can to restore services for people in this situation, particularly the most urgent services uh, that people require. Uh, and work is up. I mean, the HSE have been flat out since the weekend, working first of all to respond to the threat, but also to rebuild 